areas from my back garden we're all on lockdown so we're trying to show you some fun ideas that you might be able to do at home with the kids featuring a few outdoor bits that you might be able to gather on your rounds now i hope you're all feeling all right not going too stir crazy being stuck at home but remember it's for the best for everyone so stay indoors stay at home right so on this morning's episode of forest school tv live we will be making the blue peter style oh a few i made earlier cameraman do you want to come in a little bit focus in a little bit on that thank you wonderful excellent there you go lovely so what i have gathered from my garden are a few bits of twigs and things that i've sort of found lying around a fair few of us may have been doing a bit of extra gardening over the last few days so there might be quite a few bits prunings and whatnot left lying around i've also got some grass uh, because um, my brother very kindly decided to mow the lawn for us get in helpful brother um, a few other bits a little bit of rosemary because i've got quite a large rosemary bush um, and just some other bits and pieces that i picked up gardening right so if you are using the glue gun please take care they're very hot get an adult or a responsible person to help you um i'll have to do this myself if you are using secretaries again get an adult to help you they are very sharp and the same goes for the scissors um so just take a little bit of care when you're doing that so to start i think i'm going to go in and select a few of these little twigs here because i want to make myself a nice trunk for the bottom of my tree get your responsible adult to help and all I'm going to do now is just add a little bit of glue onto the back of these twigs and get them down on a piece of paper now I'm using the glue gun you might not have one of those at home so what you can do instead is stick your pieces down maybe add a little bit of tape over the top or if you do have any double-sided sticky tape you could put a wedge of sticky tape down underneath and just add your bits on the top um, I've got a glue gun, as I said, so I'm going to mine my fingers. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue down the back of that. And we'll pop that on the top here. So as you can see, can I come in a little bit, cameraman? Can you get that? Lovely. Going a little bit, a little bit Keith Floyd on this. Um, so I'm popping my twigs down. And guys, these could be any twigs that you might find in your garden, any sticks. These are particularly small twigs I'm using, but you can probably see on this one that's got a bit more of a chunky stick on it. Um, so it really depends on what effect you would like to go for. Well, does your oyster from your back garden or from your house. You can literally create whatever you want. It doesn't have to be trees either. It could be a flower if you wanted to, a vine, a shrub, anything that your imagination fancies. Now, I quite like the look of these things, so I'm going to go ahead and pop a couple of those in there as well. A little bit of glue, minding the fingers. And I'm just going to add that there at a bit of an angle. Oh, gets everywhere this glue. Right, I'm going to put another one in. So, guys, what a quite nice idea with these is that you could almost do one per season. So perhaps you could go out in the height of summer, find a few bits and pieces that are really reminiscent of summer for you and the kind of things that you find when you're out and about in the summer. And then maybe when you get to autumn, you might start looking for the leaves that are a little bit orangey, yellow, and you can really do some quite fun different colour schemes and colour palettes for these sorts of things. Um, right, I'm going to go in and add, because I quite like the frondy effect that you can sort of get with a bit of rosemary. So I'm going to go in and just put a couple of sprigs in there the other quite nice thing about using garden herbs is then they become even more sensory because you can smell them which is always a really nice thing so it's fun to look at it's fun to touch and make it smells nice it's hitting all of those boxes right so got myself a couple of bits of rosemary in there i think i'll put a couple more on So I'm hearing there's a few comments about the glue gun. It does look a little bit like a spider has danced all over my work. Now the wind just decided that it would like to take it away as well. So let's just pop that over there for a minute. Try and keep that down. I'm going to put a couple more of these in. And 
get even more glue over my fingers. Guys, there are probably people out there who can use a glue gun much better than I clearly am today. Um, <laughs> I would Wait. advise you to seek their help for a tutorial on how to use a glue gun without getting it absolutely everywhere. Right, so I'm going to add a couple more decorative bits to this and then I'm just going to finish off with a bit of grass at the bottom. Just to switch it up a bit. What you can also do is use another twig to poke your glue down and your bits down to stick. Right, I gathered some grass as I mentioned earlier yesterday. Just under half, maybe thirds roughly. Now this does work quite well with double sided sticky tape or sellotape because you can just put your sticky tape along there, something like that. And then, oh, hello wind. That's it. Literally add your bits of grass over the top. And that a little bit. And we'll do the same on the other side. And of course, if you do find things in the ground when you're out doing your daily walks, you can always grab them, bring them home, save them up for a project. And you can pop these on the wall or on the fridge or somewhere within the house. Just a little reminder that the outdoors is still there. It does still exist. And one day we will all be allowed back out into it for more than just once a day. Shake off a few of the loose bits. And there we go. There's my tree for this morning. So like I said, there's lots of different options you can do. Muck around with whatever you can find and see what you can create using bits and pieces from your house and from your garden. Don't put your hand in your glue gun when you're done. Have a great day, guys. See you later. Oh, sorry. One last thing. Massive, massive shout out to Hills Cafe. Um, I know we know that they've been doing a lot to ensure that people are still getting food in the area. So... So bad, I almost completely forgot. Just wanted to give a massive shout out to Hills. Guys, you're doing amazing stuff. Everybody take care, over and out.